and his lot among the saints. That's right. And that's what's gonna happen for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who turn back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Not sitting here going after the ways of Babylon, man. That's not the ways that, that's not, that's not the, the, the thing that we are supposed to do. So the scripture says, be not conformed to this world, man. Turn back to the Most High God. Change your judgment, man. Realize that the Most High, you're supposed to call out to the Most High God. Scripture said his hands are not short. His arms are not short that he cannot save. Neither his ears heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have, have separated between you and your God. It said your God. That means that's your power, man. And that's what the scripture says, man. So the scripture says what? Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. And how is he going to plead our cause? He's going to destroy them, man. He's going to smash Babylon down in the dirt, man. Through thermonuclear destruction. And the lasers and beams that come from his chariots, man. That's what's going to happen to the wicked. It says, take hold of the of, of shield and buckler. That's, that's weapons of warfare, man. The shield and bucklers is for war, man. And he's going to defend. That's, that's, that's defense. So that means he's going to defend the poor and the needy, man. That's what, uh, that's what, what David is asking for, right? So it says what? Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out. Because none of these other nations are trying to help you, man. None of these other nations are trying to help you. None of these other nations are trying to deliver you out of your troubles, man. None of these other nations are trying to heal you, heal your land, and try to give you understanding or trying to marry themselves to you, okay? Meaning, uh, give you everything that you need. Make a treaty with your people, man. He not, they're not trying to do that, man. That time is gone. They have totally... You, that's what the scripture say Race it, race it Even to the borders, man That's what they did Race it means destroy it, man So this is Psalms chapter 2 And verse 2 The kings of the earth set themselves And the rulers take counsel together Against the Lord And against his anointed And who is anointed? We are the anointed Yahweh Shai Through Yahweh Shai, man Okay but Through his name's sake Are we destroyed all the day long, man that's why we get destroyed day in and day out, man. So the scripture says that the so-called, the kings of this earth, they gather against us, okay, and counsel against us, saying what? Okay, uh, 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 let's see what it says. Saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. That's right. So that's why we don't have any portion in this system of oppression, man. Only thing that we receive is the wickedness, is the, is the uh, 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 wickedness from Babylon the Great, man. Proverb and by word, that's all we are. Crushed and oppressed, always. But the sisters couldn't endure to heal the word for one second, man. Our people look up at the faces, look at the faces, and you know what? It's good that they do that, man. They're making themselves worthy for the fire. They're worthy to believe in such idols, man. They're conscious of the idol, man. That's what you ask them. Oh, what book is that? Oh, what church do you go to? That's how you know that they, they are part of wickedness, man. They don't have understanding in these last days. She said she didn't understand English. She's speaking perfect English. She hear what I'm saying. So we got to have understanding in these last days, man. We got to have understanding in these last days. Not sitting up here carrying on in folly and madness given to us by the wicked, by the enemy, man. We got to receive understanding according to truth. Not according to folly. Not according to madness. Right? So lock you. So it says, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. It says the Lord shall have them in derision. That's right. So they had us, they, they say that they have us a proverb of reproach. Okay. Us in derision. Right. But the most high is going to have them in derision. The most high who created the heavens and earth are going to cast down our oppressors. Those that look down on us and say, man, these, these black people ain't worth nothing. These Mexican people ain't worth nothing. These Native American people they ain't worth nothing. Throw them in jail. They ain't doing nothing but being thugs. This is what they say about us. And when we start speaking with righteous judgment, they want to still come at us with, with the same tongue, with the same evil, wicked tongue. And we expose them, man, for being only wicked. 
We expose all those who speak against us for being only wicked because guess what? When we bring out justice, we, we speak uprightly, okay? And they still hate us, man. They still hate us and oppress us. They still hate us and oppress us. So these are the things that we are supposed to be addressing in these last days, man. Not sitting up here conforming to the world. Not sitting up here conforming to the world. And those men who don't have righteous understanding, the Most High is going to destroy them. The Most High is going to destroy those who, uh, uh, when they, uh, he's going to destroy those who don't have righteous judgment, right? Scripture say that those are evil men. Scripture says that they, those are evil men. And that, and, and that thing right there. Is the main reason that's the set that's the main reason why our people are being led to the slaughter man that's the main reason why our people have uh, and not righteously they are being buffeted for the wrong for the wicked that they do Okay, so the scripture says in Amos chapter 5 verse 10, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly, man. So they hate when we speak upright. They hate when we speak uh, righteous things, right? It says in, uh, let's, let's go to Isaiah chapter 15. I mean, uh, 33 verse 15. So yeah, they say, put the, cast his cords from among us. So even when we, and even when we speak right, man, they don't, they don't have no desire for us to to do to be anything here in Babylon the Great, so why are we sitting here steadily trying to be like the wicked man? Be like unto the wicked. Why are we steady trying to be like unto the wicked? Man, let me move my stuff, man. Oh, that's better. Right? We steady trying to be likened unto the wicked. We steady trying to be like our oppressors. They have no desire that we have anything in this earth, man. That's why they even conf they even uh, uh, destroy the mindset of our own women, that they won't come under order under a, under a so-called black man. The so the black woman. They sit here and they say, what about the white man? They don't say, what about the white woman? They say, what about the white man? Because what? They know that the man has authority in the household. Listen very closely to what I just said. They ask about the white man because what? The man symbolizes order. The man symbolizes what? The progenitor. He's the one who progenitor. He's the progenitor of his people, right? So why is it that our own women say, well, what about the white man? Why are you hating the white man? Listen, man. Even our women understand that there's supposed to be order in the household. But yet, the so-called white man has confused the mindsets of our women that what? You know what? I don't have to become under no man. I don't have... They, they boast in those things, man. They're at ease in these last days. So the Most High is going to destroy this place, man. But even, in, even when we speak uprightly, they still have an issue. They still have a problem with us and what we're saying. So it ain't about us, oh, well, you know, you know, y'all are just thugs. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all don't know how to talk. Everybody, when, when they hear a black man uh, talking with some sense, they say, oh, it's so good. Our own people, oh, it's so good to hear a black man speaking with eloquence. Man, listen, man, you're confused by the so-called white man. Yeah, we got a lot of that in Babylon where we talk like, we, we talk somewhat ignorant, but guess what? Moses, he stuttered. Moses stuttered. So y'all need to get, y'all need to be broken down and rebuild it again, man. Stop carrying on in folly. The scriptures say through fool, we are fools, man. Because it's not about the way we talk. It's about the things that we're saying, right? It's not about the way we talk. It's about the things that we're saying that we are counted fools in these last days, man. So the scripture says in Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 15, it says, let's start at 13. It says, hear ye that are far off what I have done 
and ye that are near acknowledge my might. That's right, and that's what we're doing. We, uh, we're going to acknowledge them, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to acknowledge the might of the Most High God, right? When he starts destroying, and then we are acknowledging the might of the Most High right now. Even the might that, that our fathers have experienced in, in, uh, has experienced uh, uh, in their time. Through the, through the scriptures, man. Through the oracles of the Most High God are we acknowledging his might. But more so, we're believing on something that, we, that our eyes haven't even seen, man. So we're acknowledging that in these last days. And it says what? Hear, hear ye that are far off. That's right. So we out here telling y'all to hear the words of the Most High God. Right? We're not, we're not uh, bound to ba Babylon, man. We're not. It, when we out here standing boldly before the Most High God, standing stiffly right here. Right? Standing stiffly on the highways and hedges. That shows that we're not bowing to the wicked, man. And in that, the Lord is being glorified. His might is being glorified because, hey, man, we should have been destroyed. We should have been killed. Right? If there was no God, we would have been destroyed, killed. But through the power of the Most High, through Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, we out here standing in these last days. Who the world have, have cast, us, cast us away and thrust us away out of their society. Right? We're in a position to be servile under every wicked nation that has killed us and murdered our people. Who murdered blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's time that we here in these last days and stop hating your brother in your heart, man. Stop hating the poor and the needy, man. You're poor and needy when you need a job from your oppressors. See, our people don't have the right judgment. Our people don't have the right understanding, man. So the scripture says what? The sinners in Zion are afraid. F fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites. Why? Because you have conformed to the world, man. You conform to the world, and then you sit up here and play the games, play games with the, with the wicked, man. You love and make it the lie, man. Therefore, you are a hypocrite as well. You know, you're like raging waters in the sea. You'll go this way and that way to, to prove that you're right. You'll go this way and that way to get the money that you need, the provisions that you need, right? These are the things that are not upright in you, man. These are the reasons that the Most High doesn't hear, the, hear our people, especially in the times of need, man. Because you don't have the right judgment. And that's why the Most High is destroying our people, or letting our people be destroyed day in and day out, right? That's why we, because y'all don't have the right judgment. And that's how you are hypocrites, man. You're trying to eat up the ways of the wicked, man. And even when we do walk in the ways of the wicked, we still get oppressed. We still get destroyed, man. Even if we do something that's so-called, so-called honorable in this wicked nation, which is getting degrees, right? Getting degrees, uh, uh, staying in jobs for, for years. You can't pass those jobs on to your, your kids. And then after that, they're going to see how they don't have another nigga like you in that position. They're going to replace you with a white dude, man. This is how Babylon gets down, man. They're cutting off every, everything that you receive. They cut it off, man. You're supposed to ask that these days be shortened. But you don't even realize that you're in such a, 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 a straight you're in such dire straits, man. You don't even realize that. That's why the brother's trying to make you understand and make you hear the truth, man. That's why the Lord said, hear that you that are far off. So it says what? Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Yeah, that's right. How you gonna live in that time? How you gonna dwell in the, in the uh, devouring fire, man? You sitting up here making lies your refuge, running after vain deceit. Okay, so how you gonna live in the days of, how you gonna uh, uh, live through the fire? You devised the plan for every all the lies. You conform so much that you have hid yourself, okay, in the leaves of the mountain, man. You have hid yourself. It says, a woe to him that is settled on his leaves, man. You know, where your people out here struggling, your people out here getting murdered, your people out here getting killed. And the scripture is trying, the Most High is trying to tell you through his scriptures how you can have understanding in these last days. How blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans finally get understanding, okay, over their oppressors. And that we can wait up on the Lord in truth, man. Not waiting up on the Most High God through deceit, man. Not waiting up on the Most High God through deceit, but waiting on the Most High God through truth. The scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice and the stranger they will not follow. So our people have been, it's been good for our people to follow the ways that is full of injustice, man. Our, fo our people followed in the ways that are full of injustice. So-called white man came on this continent murdering blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Because blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, so-called, we're here together. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, those, those terms are actually bywords. That's not really who our people are. Based off our forefathers, that's not really who our people are. Why would you listen to your enemy? Why would you listen? They say that our people are black. When you clearly walking around, you're brown. So how can you be black? 
That's a derogatory thing to be called and you for our people to accept. We are Israelites, man. We are the oppressed people. That's why they can't stop hating us. That's why they can't stop murdering us. That's why these issues are falling on us. We got to receive understanding in these last days through the scriptures, man. If we sitting out here thinking that we black, we thinking, sitting out here thinking we uh, uh, Jamaican. Listen, man, we are Israelites, man. We are the people of the book. We are the oppressed people. So what is your judgment supposed to be in these last days? Let me actually get this. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 15. He that walketh righteously and, separ and, and speaketh uprightly. We speaking uprightly. We the ones speaking about justice. We the ones speaking about the righteous judgment. We the ones giving our people true understanding of their nationality, who they really are. Okay? We're not out here uh, 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 doing world star hip hop, this, that, and the third. Our forefathers didn't come. They gave us that culture, man. That's not your culture. The so-called white man, the wicked who destroy you and murder you, they gave you that culture. That's why our people are being murdered in these uh, uh, abortion clinics. This is why our people are being given the, le the least, okay? We got to receive understanding, man. It's time to wake up, high time to wake up. Stop conforming to this world, okay? So it says, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that des despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands, from holding of bribes that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. That's who the wicked hates, man. That's who the wicked hates. They hate the man that speaketh uprightly. And that's again, that's Amos chapter five. Amos chapter five and verse, uh, verse 10. They hated him that rebuketh in the gate and that abhor and they abhorreth him that speaketh uprightly. They hate the man that speak uprightly. It's not good that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans uh, 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 be dealing in homosexual relationships. It's not good that our people sit up here and eat things that destroy their body. It's not good that our people sit up